I'm Maya the Science Kid. Today, we're making cheese, specifically cottage cheese. And cheese is what you may also call milk kernels. You find them in milk that has acid in it. And if you like putting something that's acid, like maybe vinegar or lemon juice in your milk, you can probably see some milk kernels. You need some milk and vinegar, cheesecloth, and heat. First, we need our milk at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have it here on the stove so we can boil it. Here's where a grown up can help. Thanks. Now we need our milk at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now, it is 80, 90, 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need a little bit more waiting so we can get it to 120 degrees. This one is 76.8 degrees Fahrenheit. We're mixing it just like we made yogurt. So we have to mix it and we have to also mix the bottom. Temperature is 96.2. Our milk is at the right temperature. It is good enough. And we have a strainer. So, um, water can go through, but no cheese. And these holes are a little bit too big. So, we need our cheesecloth. And to, do, to prepare your cheesecloth, you need to stretch it out a little bit. And then, fold it in half, because these holes are a little bit too big. We want to fold it in half. So if it's not that size, it's a little finer. So just like this. And then we're going to put it on a pot that is very much the same size because most of the milk is going to be water and liquids and not cheese. The liquid that's in milk is called whey. W-H-E-Y. As soon as we put the vinegar on, it's gonna start curdling. And we're gonna watch that process. So we're going to add one half a cup or 120 milliliters of white vinegar into our milk. And as soon as that happens, it's going to start curdling. see that it's already turning into trees, cottage trees specifically. And when we pour, a grown-up is going to help. This is totally becoming cottage trees, except there's a lot of water, so we need to drain that. Now we're going to drain it by using a cheesecloth and strainer, and my dad's going to help me. cheesecloth and strainer and we need to put it on top of this so all the way can go into here. Can you help me? Yes. Please? Okay. okay. How do I do it? 
take the spoon out, put it away, then hold this. This is half of the milk, but it's too big to fit, so we're gonna do two batches. A block of cheese. Firm. See? It's the block of cheese. So, I'm gonna transfer it. The block of cheese looks like a piece of dough. It's white and it's like this. Okay, well, next batch. way is actually useful. There's other things we're gonna make with it. But for now, we have cottage cheese. And not actually after I squeeze out all this beef. I mean lid. Now flip it. Or not flip it. Flip the dough like a pizza. Jesus. Cheesy. And grinding till you like you don't necessarily chew it, but you chew with your gums basically. Like the roof of your mouth and your tongue. Feels grainy. Like a clump that has a ton of other clumps stuck around it. I can sort of taste the vinegar a little bit. This is how you make cottage cheese. And we just made some. See you next time on a My The Science Kid video.